We going to discuss drugs for antihypertensive by Professor Samanathan Kyaro Hanum. This slide discusses drugs for antihypertensive. This slide explains through serial number, drug classification, and drugs name under the classification and mechanism. 1. Diuretics. Number 1.1. Name of the classification, thiazide diuretics. Drugs name under this classification, benzothiazines. 1. Hydrochlorothiazide. 2. Benzothiazide. 3. Hydroflumthiazide, 4. Bendroflumthiazide, thiazide like, 1. Clothalidone, 2. Metolazin, 3. Xipamide, 4. Indopamide, 5. Clopamide, mechanism of thiazide diuretics, increasing sodium and water excretion in the urine and decreasing extracellular volume, blood volume resulting in a decrease in cardiac output and renal blood flow. Thiazids are more effective antihypertensives than loop diuretics except in patients with severely decreased glomerular filtration rate. The first choice treatment for hypertension in adults was single agent therapy with the thiazide diuretic. Number 1.2. Name of the classification, loop diuretics. Drugs name under this classification. 1. Bentonide 2. Ethacrinic acid. 3. Furosemide 4. Torsemide. Mechanism of loop diuretics. The loop diuretics block sodium and chloride reabsorption and decrease renal vascular resistance and increase renal blood flow. Used for patients with poor renal function or those who have not responded to thiazide. Number 1.3. Name of the classification. Potassium sparing diuretics. Drugs name under this classification, aldosterone antagonist, 1, spironolactone, 2, ipilorenone, inhibitors of renal epithelial sodium channel, 1, triamtoine, 2, amyloride, mechanism of potassium sparing diuretics, inhibit epithelial sodium transport at the late distal and collecting ducts and reduce potassium loss in the urine, especially used with cardiac glycosides. Weak diuretics that are generally used in combination with thiazide diuretics to minimize hypokalemia and to augment the antihypertensive action all dosterone antagonists have the additional benefit of diminishing the cardiac remodeling that occurs in heart failure. Number 2, name of the classification, angiotensin converting enzyme, A, C, E, inhibitor, drugs name under this classification, 1, benazapril, 2. Captopril, 3. Inlipril, 4. Fosinopril, 5. Lysinopril, 6. Mxipril, 7. Perindopril, 8. Quinopril, 9. Ramipril, 10. Trondolapril, mechanism of A, C, E inhibitor, inhibit the angiotensin converting enzyme, A, C, E to decrease angiotensin 2 and increase bradykinin levels. This leads to lower blood pressure by reducing peripheral vascular resistance without reflexively increasing cardiac output, heart rate, or contractility. Number 3. Name of the classification, angiotensin 2 receptor blockers. Drugs name under this classification, 1. Azilsartan, 2. Candizartan, 3. Eprosartan, 4. Erbsartan, 5. Lozartan, 6. Olmsartan, 7. Telmizartan, 8. Valsartan, mechanism of angiotensin 2 receptor blockers. These drugs block angiotensin 2 type 1. A, T1. Receptors. This blocks the actions of angiotensin 2 and results in vasodilation and increased excretion of sodium and water. These drugs are effective as monotherapy for hypertension. Number 4. Name of the classification, renin inhibitors, drugs name under this classification, 1. Aliskirin, mechanism of renin inhibitors, aliskirin inhibitor of renin and thereby reduces the production of all angiotensins. It lowers blood pressure about as effectively as angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor, angiotensin 2 receptor blockers, and thiazids. Number 5. Name of the classification, calcium channel blocker. Drugs name under this classification, selective, for blood vessels, 1. Amylodipine, 2. Felodipine, 
3. Isradipine, 4. Nicardipine, 5. Nifodipine, 6. Nisoldipine, non selective, for both blood vessels and the heart. 1. Dilciasum 2. Verapamil, mechanism of calcium channel blocker, inhibit calcium entry into cardiac and smooth muscle cells by blocking the L type calcium channel their lower blood pressure by reducing peripheral resistance calcium increases heart and arteries contraction blocking calcium leads to coronary and peripheral vasodilation there are two voltage gated calcium channels a high voltage channel l type and a low voltage channel t type currently available calcium channel blocker only block the l type channel Next slide, continuation of antihypertension, number 6, name of the classification, beta-adrenergic blockers, drugs name under this classification, 1, acebulol, 2, atenolol, 3, betaxilol, 4, bisoprolol, 5, metoprolol, 6, nadolol, 7, nebivalol, 8, pindolol, 9, propranolol, 10. Timolol. Mechanism of beta-adrenergic blockers, bind to beta-adrenergic receptors and block the actions of norepinephrine and epinephrine. The beta blockers reduce blood pressure primarily by decreasing cardiac output. They may also decrease sympathetic outflow from the central nervous system, C, N, S, and inhibit the release of renin from the kidneys, thus decreasing the formation of angiotensin II and the secretion of aldosterone. Number 7, name of the classification, alpha-1 adrenergic antagonists, drugs name under this classification, 1, doxazosin, 2, prazosin, 3, terazosin, mechanism of alpha-1 adrenergic antagonists, a competitive block of alpha-1 adrenoceptors cause vasodilation by blocking the binding of norepinephrine to the smooth muscle receptors. They decrease peripheral vascular resistance and lower arterial blood pressure by causing relaxation of both arterial and venous smooth muscle. Number 8, name of the classification, alpha A2 adrenergic agonists, also known as, central sympothalytic, drugs name under this classification. 1. Clonidin 2. Methyl dopa mechanism of alpha A2 adrenergic agonists. Clonidin stimulates postsynaptic alpha 2 adrenoceptors in the C, N, S and causes a reduction in total peripheral resistance. Clonidin is frequently combined with a diuretic. Methyl dopa activates presynaptic inhibitory alpha adrenoceptors and postsynaptic alpha 2 receptors in the C, N. S and reduces sympathetic outflow. It decreases total peripheral resistance. Number 9, name of the classification, alpha, 1 and beta blockers. Drugs name under this classification, 1, labetalol, 2, carvedilol, mechanism of alpha, 1 and beta blockers. Labetalol is an alpha-1 and beta adrenoceptor antagonist and reduces heart rate and contractility, slows A, V conduction and decreases peripheral resistance. Carvedilol is a non-selective, cardiac beta blocker with peripheral vasodilating effects. Labetalol is useful for treating hypertensive emergencies and in the treatment of hypertension of pheochromocytoma. Labetalol does not cause reflex tachycardia. Carvedilol decreases blood pressure mainly by decreasing arterial vascular resistance through its alpha-1 blocking properties, causing a reduction in afterload. Number 10, name of the classification, direct acting vasodilators, drugs name under this classification, 1, hydrolazine, 2, minoxidil, 3, nitroprusside, mechanism of direct acting vasodilators, hydrolazine, reduces blood pressure directly by relaxing the arteriolar muscle. This effect is probably mediated by increasing levels of hypoxia inducible factor 1 which regulates a number of downstream target genes that lead to decreased calcium influx. Minoxidil, has effects similar to hydrolazine. Minoxidil acts to open adenosine triphosphate sensitive potassium channels in vascular smooth muscle cells to increase potassium efflux, which hyperpolarizes cells and reduces the activity of L-type, voltage sensitive, calcium channels. 
and it may stimulate the production of nitric oxide. Minoxidil vasodilates predominantly arterial vessels. Sodium nitroprusside dilates both resistance and capacitance vessels it increases heart rate but not output. Sodium nitroprusside is frequently used in hypertensive emergencies because of its rapid action. Sodium nitroprusside is usually administered with furosemide. Sodium nitroprusside can be converted to cyanide and theocyanate. The accumulation of cyanide and risk of toxicity is minimized by concomitant administration of sodium theosulfate or hydroxocobalamin. Thank you for your attention. Further information, kindly contact prof.samiacademy at gmail.com. Disclaimer This channel does is not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel are meant for educational purposes only.